Hi everyone! In this DIY, I'll be making a lava lamp aquarium with glittery bubbles and fish that actually grow in the water. Here's a slow motion shot of the final piece and I really think it looks quite cool. If you have a phone that can record in slow motion, then it's worth making this DIY just so you can have fun filming clips like this. It's surprisingly easy to make and takes less than half an hour. This is also a very flexible project, so you could easily substitute any of the items if you can't find certain supplies. If you're new to my channel, then a huge welcome and please subscribe for more crazy and unique DIY projects. This video is also a collaboration with... I'm just kidding, this is not a collab, so please enjoy this standalone tutorial. However, I do love working with other YouTubers, so you have to be prepared, there will be more collabs coming on this channel soon. So to get started, you'll need a jar of some sort. I found this one in a home decor shop and it was even full of shells, which are also needed. However, you can just as easily use an empty jam jar as well. Then you'll need some turquoise or blue food coloring, some baby oil or cooking oil, and some very thin nylon thread that's often sold in craft shops for making jewelry. Lastly, I'm using these size-changing goldfish, which absorb water and grow to four times the size. I've included the link in the description box and you can literally get 10 of these for $2 with free international shipping. The same website also sells tons of unusual crafting supplies and I came across them when I was looking for dollhouse kits to make for my other channel Macaroon. So the first step is to wash and clean your jar, or in my case take out all the seashells. If you don't have any shells then you can also use pebbles, semi-precious stones or simply leave it out. Here I'm just picking out some nice looking shells to put into one layer at the bottom of the jar. I actually ended up having to replace a few of these because some of the shells started floating when I filled it up with water. Next, thread a needle with nylon thread. I like using this because it looks almost invisible, but you can always use normal thread or dental floss instead. Run the thread through the top of your goldfish and tie a knot to keep it in place. Then repeat until each fish is attached to a bit of thread just like this. Now you want to attach them to the lid so they hang inside the jar. Since my bottle has a cork lid, I'm simply using a pin and wrapping the nylon thread around a few times before pressing it into place. This is the only slightly tricky part of this DIY because you want to make sure that the fish hang nicely at different heights and that they're not too close to each other. So you might have to adjust the string a few times until you're happy with how everything looks. I also think that this version with an empty jar looks quite cute, so if you want you can simply leave it like this and use it as room decor. If you want to use a jam jar for this, then you should cut a circle of card or thin plastic which fits right inside the lid. Then use the needle to sew the thread through the card and then glue the whole thing inside the lid using waterproof tape or glue. Now fill up the jar with water so it just covers all of your fish. You still want to leave enough space at the top so there's some room for the oil, so it helps if none of the fish are hanging too high up. Next, place one drop of food coloring on a spoon and use a toothpick to add tiny amounts to the water until you get a lovely soft blue or turquoise color. Don't add the food coloring directly into the water because the color might end up looking too dark. Then add a bit of glitter and stir everything around. And lastly, just fill up the rest of the jar with baby oil. I recommend using baby oil because it's completely transparent, but regular sunflower oil works just as well for lava lamps. You can easily use that if you don't mind having a slight yellowish color. So now your lava lamp aquarium is done. You'll notice that the fish are already starting to grow in size. Here's a comparison with some of the original ones. You can also shake the jar around to create this cool lava lamp effect. This clip was actually filmed the next day, so you can see that the fish have grown even bigger. These fish are actually reusable, so once you take them out of the water, they shrink back to their original size. Of course, if you don't want to get this shape-changing fish, then you can always make your own using polymer clay or simply pictures sealed inside plastic. I really hope you enjoyed this magic aquarium DIY, and don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!